Hello, what's up guys? It is me, Deltre, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Awakening? I almost said Fire Emblem Fates. Oh god, no. Wrong game, man. We're back with some more Fire Emblem Awakening. Lunatic Classic. Last time... What the hell did we do last time? Ah, yes, of course. How could I forget? The infamous Chapter 5. And honestly, I was expecting so much worse. I'm not entirely sure why that went so much better for us than I remember. But I'm gonna take a guess here and say it probably had something to do with this girl right here. This Sumia lady. I don't know about you guys, but I've heard she's pretty good. I certainly think she just might be. Oh my god. She has almost 20 speed, guys. She can almost double crap like Myrmidons by herself. Why? How? Anyhow, I do apologize for the sparseness of uploads over this last week. It's just been a real busy one for me, guys. Honestly. But with the outrageous amount of support you guys have been showing for this series in particular... I figure if you guys can keep that up, then we will do this on a much more regular basis. We'll keep a consistent schedule. As long as you guys want to see it, I'll keep pumping them out. It is a little bit higher effort than some of the ones in the past, especially when we do multiple chapters in a row like we have been today, but it's it's worth it. I think we get better videos this way. And you guys would seem to agree, so thank you each and every one. I appreciate it. It honestly makes it worth having timelines like this. But... You already know what time it is, folks. Yes, that is right. Let's get these comments rolling in. Ah, yes, of course. How could I not start with this one? <laughs> Friend Malt says, Oh boy, 3 a.m. You know what, man? I don't want to hear it. It's not, it's not a late upload. It's a European-friendly upload. How about that? You ever think of that? Yeah, what's up? You know, America's not the only place in the world, guys. Come on. It was really that or not uploaded at all. And in fairness, it was supposed to be up at 1 a.m. Thank you very much. But YouTube decided, no, no, no. We're actually going to stall at about 60%. So you're going to have to start all over, Diltree. <laughs> so yeah, that one went up way, way, way later than it was actually intended to. But I think you just get the video out, honestly. Gets to you guys so much quicker that way. I wanted to pick this comment because, one, it's cool that people are playing along, and two, I see this secondary question being asked an awful lot, so I thought I would just address this one. So Ishan says, I started playing Lunatic to play along with you, and Chapter 2 is kicking my ass. <laughs> Been there, man. I feel your pain. The Robin and Freddy turned out pretty good so far. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> also, are you going to use other kids like Cynthia? So this is the one that I see a lot. People have been asking, you know, are you going to use this unit or that unit? And honestly, I have to keep it a bug. I'm just kind of going with the flow, man. Whoever decides they want to be used is basically who's being used at this point. More or less. Muriel decides she wants to be pretty good, so she's coming, for example. I mean, she's not, like, super amazing in this playthrough, but she was so amazing in the Lunatic Plus livestream that how can I not at least use her in one playthrough, right? Virion, same thing. He's just leveling up so well that it's like, sure, why not? As for which kids are going to be gotten... I will try to get the ones whose mothers I'm actually using, but other than that, it's probably going to be like what we did with Fates, where we beat the game and then we come back and get everything that we missed. That's probably what's going to be happening. I am going to preserve the timeline though, don't you worry, so that means Severa, Inigo, and Owain must exist. They have to. I refuse any other outcome. And I know exactly who Inigo's dad is going to be. But I, I don't know how I'm getting him necessarily. I'm, I honestly might have to grind just for the sake of getting him. But if I did, I would just like, I would just feed it all into somebody who's level 20. So that I don't gain experience basically. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Getting Inigo period is grinding straight up. There's no two ways about it. Because in order for Olivia to actually get to S support with anybody, it means wasting a whole bunch of turns on a map where you've already won basically. So I don't necessarily feel bad if I have to grind to get Inigo. But it will just strictly be for him if it comes to that. It won't be for levels or anything like that. Okay, there we go. It's so hard for me to find this one. So Shinjian says... Oh, actually, you know what? No, spoiler alert. I actually can't show this whole comment. Ooh, but I, I actually did like this second half of this comment, though. Because he says, This chapter personally... Referring to chapter 5. This chapter personally made me appreciate Gangrel as a character. You knew he wanted a war, gave M the ultimatum to prevent it, and Trom played into his hand by attacking first. And yeah, when I think about it like that, he brings up a good point. Because I almost want to say... It almost feels like he knew that Krom was going to lose his temper and go on the offensive like that just to save Maribel, which gave him the perfect excuse to declare war on Elise. Something that he's no doubt wanted for quite some time, and he, we already know that he wants to get his hands on that Fire Emblem for one reason or another. It is a pretty decent game from what I understand, but I'm not sure if it's worth fighting a war over. 
And it kind of makes him feel like he's actually sort of manipulative. It, it makes him feel like some kind of threat. And yeah, he's a little bit cartoonish, but... The fact that he's actually taking initiative like that, and the fact that he definitely pulled one over on us right then, makes him feel like a legitimate threat in some ways. And that's pretty cool, so thank you to Shinjiran for bringing that up. <laughs> Mario, imagine being sponsored by Glory. You have work, my dude. How could I resist the sweet, savory flavor of Glory canned vegetables? But I'm no shill. And accusations like that really stress me out, and when I get stressed, I like to eat. Especially delicious health food like Glory. Great for the mind, great for the soul, great for the body as well. Goes perfect with every meal, and increases your longevity. That's right, they say just one can of glory per day can increase your lifespan by up to five years. I mean, what? And lastly, Andrew Flynn explains the origins of Mary Contrary. He says, Mary Contrary is a play on Mary Mary Quite Contrary, I'm assuming, which is a phrase from something, some pop culture reference that I can't place the source of off the top of my head. Zoroastrianism chimes in here and says it's a nursery rhyme. And I, I did look this up. It is actually a nursery rhyme. And this is one of those really messed up things. I don't understand why we teach children songs about stuff like this. The gist of the nursery rhyme has three or so different origins, potentially. And all of them involve some sort of infidelity. Every single one is like some kind of like lecherous king or <laughs> or like Queen Mary gets cheated on or some crap. Every single one. Every single one has that line in it. Why are these the songs that we teach to our kids? Is there even any nursery rhyme at all that isn't just a little bit kind of fucked up? Or is it just me? Let's see, London Bridge is falling down. No, we can scratch that one right off the list right now. Ring Around the Rosie, that's not so bad, except for the part about the ashes all falling down. Uh, yeah, that's kind of messed up, don't you think? Mary Mary, quite contrary, by the way, your husband's a cheating asshole. Oh, that's great for the kids. I think at this point it's almost some kind of sick joke. Let's see if we can't get all the kids in the world to sing about really messed up crap, man. That must be the mentality. Shoot, I would do it. I would do it. I would lie to my kids all the time. <laughs> Am I a bad person? Yeah, son, if you stay up past 9 o'clock, the thing under your bed's gonna eat you alive. Good night! Uh... This is why I don't have kids. Barracks! Alright, so we have... Muriel, okay. I'm probably not going to show 100% of these every time. Only if we get an item or some crap like that. Oh, Virion gets speed and defense? Oh my god, Virion might be able to double stuff. What? Anyways, we really only have the one support though. Hey, you and Muriel. Let's do it. Hmm. Oh, Blast, my item pouch is gone. I must have dropped- oh wait. Oh, Blast, my item pouch is gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Hmm? Is this the object in question? Oh. Ah, yes, my thanks, Muriel. I keep it tied to my belt, but it's always falling off for some reason. Hmm. Such actions are indicative of a pervasive downward force exerted on the object. My mother's book contained a passage espousing a similar theory. Um. Are you trying to explain gravity to me? Why, yes, I am! So can I have my pouch back? Ah, yes, here is the passage in question. On all objects, there are acts of force which pulls them ever groundward. Though invisible and without apparent cause, it exists nonetheless. I posit that it is by this principle that we remain rooted to the ground. Most intriguing. Hey. Muriel, hello. I can't no. hear you. I'm lost in my notes. Yet birds fly unencumbered by this force. The sun and stars and clouds do not fall. What explains these exceptions? Um. Muriel. Muriel. Muriel, I need your attention. I need you to help me solve this captcha. This, this what? Yeah, this CAPTCHA. Sorry, I wasn't listening to your lecture, but if you could just solve this for me. I just woke up, I don't have my glasses. N no, I think you'd best find someone else to assist you with this. Oh, come on, Muriel. You're the only one with glasses around here. Just, just help me out. I can't. I don't see why I would need to be the one to assist you in this matter. Come on, Muriel, you're acting awfully strange. I am not. It is rude for you to ask favors from someone you do not know. Come on, Muriel, I'm just so tired. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. I know, I don't usually wake up this early, but oh my god! <laughs> How long can I keep this joke running? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, what? Oh. S sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Yes. My respiratory function ceased for a moment. This is very disruptive. Please do not scatter my thoughts further. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I require a period of quiet solitude to marshal my thoughts and recharge my batteries. I mean, rest my eyes. Farewell. 
Wait, my pouch. I need that, Muriel. <laughs> it's where I keep my coffee beans. That's why I'm so slow. Yeah, let's start with chapter paralog. Paralog 2, chapter this one. Let's do it. <laughs> the secret cellar. How many Annas are there? Jesus. Blast, it seems all hope is lost. Still hold fast, I'll treat your wounds. Uh, it's it's too late. What happened here? Hail, traveler. Nothing but death ahead, travelers. I'd turn back if I were you. Whatever your business here, it'll have to wait. What? Just tell us what happened. Well, uh... Uh, Bandits, they blocked the road ahead. They're demanding a king's ransom and illicit tolls for all who wish to pass. <sighs> they think to profiteer on refugees. Despicable. I'm <sighs> saying. Our caravan's livelihood is at stake. We'll do no business in this country now. My lord. The flow of goods must be secured, my lord, or the people are likely to starve. Right. Then we'll secure it. You and your caravan can wait here. We'll let you know when it's safe. Like, they need the help, because we have Anna, the goddess. She's so good. She is so good. She actually has a killing edge on Lunatic. Wow. I don't think she does on lower difficulties. Something kind of crazy about the killing edges in this game is that they're just strictly better than steals. In some games, they're, like, equal in power, but the killing edge obviously has that critical boost. But nope, nope, nope. Killing edge is just better. More might, more hit, more grit. No weight either, so it's not even, like, there's some kind of consideration there. Uh, that said, Anna's probably gonna get popped by this archer. Yeah, real quick. Real quick. So what kind of numbers are we looking at here? How do we kill as many of these guys as possible? And yeah, Viriad can actually double if he's paired with Lon Ku. If I give Hei Yu one defense tonic and put her on the woods, she can take a hit from this guy and this guy on the first turn. If Lon Ku stands next to her with a strength tonic and Krom in his back pocket, he'll have over 40% chance to crit these guys and they'll have almost no chance to hit him. Frederick and Sumia have to go hard right because we need to save Anna. There's also this village up here. I think it's like a physics staff or something. I, I can't remember. I really want to say it's a physics staff though. Problem is, all these bandits are gonna try to go destroy it. That's why Anna's there, she's gonna kick their asses for a little bit, but she will die, because there's archers, and the archers have a good shot to just hit her. And also, she can just get unlucky, I guess, but it's not really likely. And honestly, if Virion's gonna get the speed, we might as well give him some strength stuff, too. I don't wanna buy drugs every single map, man. Yeah, that's right, we're using illicit substances to power ourselves up. Hey, fair is fair. But, I, I don't wanna spend all my money on that every single map, obviously, but... For right now, I really think that Virion with strength wouldn't be bad. Actually, I'm gonna give Sully the Killer Lance. Yeah, Sully can have the Killer Lance for this one, so we will buy Sumia a strength plus. And we can drop Lissa and bring Rick in, actually, just because the extra damage is better, honestly. Don't really need Lissa for this one, I don't see where I do. Now, when we have the real winners like Donald right there, hello! Yeah, let's just give it a shot. Now, oh, there's more story. I was gonna say, it didn't seem like there was that much. Vincent, darling. Hmm. Yes, Victor. See? I dare say we've come across a village, Vincent. Right. And what a thriving little hamlet it is, Victor. <laughs> Indeed. I think it'll make for a fine bit of pillaging, Vincent. <laughs> oh, it most certainly will, Victor. Darling. Well then, I believe it's my turn to do the honors, isn't it, Vincent? Why are these guys always in every single game? Why? Why do they need the flamboyant bandits every single time? I don't get the joke. <laughs> I really... Is there something I'm missing? <laughs> Man, whatever. Whatever. Wh which games do these guys not appear in, though? Because they I'm pretty sure they've been in just about every one since 6. They were in 6, they were in 7, they were in this... They were in Radiant Dawn. Yeah, they were they were Lagoos in Radiant Dawn. Yeah, that's right. I remember that now. Really early on, we have to fight him with Micaiah, right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Why are they in half the Fire Emblem games? These are the most reoccurring characters ever. Ah, uh, just kidding. That would be the White Wings, probably. But besides them, these guys just gotta go. I don't get the joke. Uh, well then, I believe it's my turn. I already said this line. You already said that line, Deltre. Shut up. I do believe it is, Victor. Oh, but try not to kill them all this time, hmm? It tends to cut into profits. Now, why did that guy start to sound like Camilla? Mm -hmm. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm afraid this village is closed. <laughs> well, aren't you a fetching young thing? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, aren't you a fetching young thing? 
and at fetching young things, fetch good coin. In fact, the gold you net from the slavers will build Vincent a fine home. <laughs> Careful, love, us traders are known to make some very deep cuts. She's not wrong, the killing edge, ooh, Anna. Ooh, Anna. Wait. That village is in danger, thank you, Frederick. One of us must ride ahead and warn them of what's coming. All right, I just realized that I wanted Virion and Donnie in the opposite spot, so uh, whoops, you didn't see anything. You saw nothing. And also, we're gonna turn the animations off for this fight, and only this one, though. They'll be on for the next one. I just wanna really make sure that we're getting two today, obviously, and it's just gonna speed things up so much. Now, somebody did actually ask if I could speed through the animations from now on, and yeah, I, I meant to be doing that this whole time, to be honest. I don't know why I all of a sudden wasn't doing that, but my bad for that. And yeah, the animations in this game compared to the newer ones do feel really slow. I, I honestly have to say, it's it's kind of strange. Like, if you watch one of the Myrmidons, for example, Lon Koo in particular, I'll see if I can't try to catch him. Oh no, we're gonna catch Anna, though. We gotta watch Anna tear it up. Come on now. You can see how bad of a spot she's in, though. But those hips do not lie. That's right. I don't know what it is about Anna, but she has this little hip dance thing that she does. And <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I really like it. Goodbye. No hard feelings, kid. Ah, <laughs> yes. Lan Koo. Back at it again. I'm sorry, I thought he was bad. It says right there, 9%, so what's going on? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Kind of weird that a bad unit would have only a 9% chance to be hit. Kind of weird that they would prefer to attack Frederick over Lan Koo despite him being bad. How strange. Goodbye. Ha 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 ha, yes. She was gonna live no matter what, though, because she has the old, oh my god, what just happened? That could have been anybody else's kill, hey you. Of course she doesn't get speed. You guys did actually tell me though that there's two speed wings in this game. And you know what? I know exactly why I only remembered one, because as one of you guys pointed out, one of the speed wings you get is actually only possible to get via a reinforcement. Really, game? Why? That's that's so strange to me. Very questionable, to say the least. Uh, let's see here. Right now, we just gotta watch the range of these archers, basically. By the way, these two guys right here, they will never attack you. They're just gonna go right for the village. The game doesn't actually tell you that, but I know it to be true. I know it to be 100% fact, so I'm gonna take advantage of that by... And doing one of these moves. If I drop Frederick onto the spot, do I get the tile? Let's find out. I do not. Oh, unfortunate. I thought I was gonna do some LTC crap. Come on, game. Is this how you reward good players? No, I'll tell you what. Can this guy... No, he can't. Yeah, here we go. So Lon Koo can go after this guy. Yeah, we do get the kill. I almost want to say unfortunately, in all honesty. But them's the breaks, I'm afraid. Yeah, Heyu is free, so if I just attack with her, we can definitely make this work. As long as she doesn't crit this guy, my lord. Why did she get crits? It's almost like she benefits from her own skill. That's what it feels like. Oh uh, yeah, we'll use Rickon. And that's Donnie range, right there. Booyah! I'll take that level up. Oh yes. Let's go, Donnie boy! Hit point strength, speed, luck, yes! I'd really like him to get some durability too, though. Yeah, that wouldn't hurt, I'll say that. You don't have to just get strength and other crap, dude. You can get any stats you would like. It's a free-for-all, practically. Yeah, I'll take Sully away and drop her off behind Donnie boy. No, that was such a bad move. What am I doing? Well, hey, you lives, but there was no reason to do that. And this is exactly why you need to be so quick, by the way, because as you can see, Anna's about to die. She's actually almost dead. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she's actually going to attack instead of healing herself. Thanks for that one, Anna. Yeah. Don't get hit. Okay. So that in mind, what we need to do here... Can Samia just do it by herself? No, I didn't think so. Okay, we'll repair. I thought I was being slick. I thought I was gonna get the, uh... The sparkly tile. But no! Anyways, Sumia rocks this kid. With ease. Easiest experience of her life. She can definitely one round these archers. I would really appreciate it, Anna, if you wanted to use that concoction. Your 10 HP is making me nervous. I mean, that's a kill for Donnie. But then how do we kill you? You're the problem right now, aren't you, bud? Yo, I know how we kill him. I know how we kill him. Hey, you, you better give... You only give two? If she had ten spe... Ah, oh, ah. Oh. 
Yeah, here we go. So Krom can kill you. With the Belgian. Lanku, you didn't really need to jump in there, man. <sighs> what a show off, am I right? Alright, so we do like that, I suppose. Yeah, Rickon, look at this Kate go. Yeah, that's really bad, I think, actually. Because you will die in a single hit. Actually, this is way better anyway, so yeah. Virion to here will shoot on this mage. Maybe we kill him. I don't know. It depends on if Heyu decides to jump in or not. Nope, she's not going to. Should have seen that one coming, right? With Sully, though, that's enough shit for Muriel to easily kill you. I'm so sure. Yeah, easily. Easily, I say. I mean, maybe Krom's a kill-stealing bastard. I don't know. Can't really unequip him or anything because he's not paired up with me, so we just kind of have to risk that. You, on the other hand, can definitely take him out. Nice one, Muriel. Now Donna Boy runs through and skewers him. Yeah, goodbye. And again, it really helps to know that those bandits aren't going to attack me. Because if I thought that they were, I would not be making this move. <laughs> That'd be so dangerous. Please, Anna, stop! I can't handle this kind of behavior. So right here. This guy's going to die to Anna, theoretically. Or Anna's gonna die to him, one or the other. Living on the edge, man. We do have to kill these archers every single time, though, because they will for sure kill Anna eventually. But not if Sumia has anything to say about that. Can Sumia do it again? Easy. I'll take defense, too. Like, gladly. Gladly taking that defense. Durability's kind of another issue of hers, but not right now, clearly. I think I am going to have to park Fred on the village next, though, because these guys are getting too close and I can't kill them both. Now, the other question would be, who the hell has all my vulnerabilities? How much speed do you have, but He has 15 speed. Wow. Wow. That's a... Uh, whoa. Whoa there, buddy. Well, go ahead and use the vulnerary now. I'm going to have to give her another one, though. Clearly. Yeah, I mean, we can just give it to Krom. For once. Why not? Dude's earned it. And also, that's going to make Laura Bailey better. So there you go. Level up for Krom? Yeah, buddy. More strength, though, bud. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, he's actually really good. No lie. Krom is turning out super good here. This is way above the usual. I can tell you that. Don't get me wrong. He's not like a bad character, but wow. That's that's above and beyond, man. We take those. I managed additional trading. Now, why do you think Donnie's on the front lines? Am I new? Okay, yeah. We got to get Frederick. We gotta get Frederick out here. Yes, yeah, stay in the forest, Anna, please. Please stay in the forest, Anna. Now, all we gotta do, plant Frederick's behind us right here. And we can grab the village right now. Oh, that Pender woman is fighting to protect the village, you say? That kind of warmth is more than welcome in these cold lands. Here, please use this to heal her if she's hurt. Use this to heal my own, you say? The physics staff, nice. It's C rank. It has the range of half your magic stats, so if I have eight magic, then I would have a four range with it. And it's just as strong as a regular healing step, but again, that range is really nice, so we'll definitely be using that eventually. Now, what I want to do is eventually finagle Hey You over to this right-hand side and pull this boss up the river, while we also pull the rest of his group to the left. That's what I want to do, because these guys have overlapping range, and I do not want to engage them in one big group. Oh, I hit L. Come on, game. I hit L. I wanted to see more of Anna. Why are they moving in one big group? Uh-oh. <laughs> Abort! Somebody help! Oh god. Uh. Alright, alright, alright. Stay calm. We're gonna pull him to Fred. Oh god. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Since when does he move? I swear that he only comes to you on. I swear that he only comes if you're in his range. Or so I thought, but clearly not. So let's. I suppose attempt to get Lanku to the point that he can take a hit in theory, because he should be able to. And everybody else has to go right to hell. Uh, Lanku in the forest might be able to do this though, honestly. Because he's a decent unit, you see. Did Anna just... Oh my god, she's the greatest. <laughs> she healed me! Oh, Anna, you saint! I didn't really realize that she could do that, to be honest. Now, if Lan Ku is right here... Oh, no, that's a Plains tile. We want the Woods bonus for sure. All 
Alright, hold on. You off. You on. Lon Ku is directly in rage. Oh, we just made it. We just made it. Oh, man. That is too close. Now, Lon Ku actually does not die. Oh, yes, he does. He dies a horrible, painful death. But only 11% of the time. And if that happens, then this game is trash. So, like, what can I do, really? What can I really do if he's going to get nailed by that? He doesn't die to the weaklings, though, at the very least. Like, the ads are totally harmless. You know what's funny? Anna might actually come down here and kick these guys' ass for me. That would just be great. And at this point, we are going to... We're going to unpair, for the most part. I sincerely doubt that the boss would attack Frederick. But if he does, that's fine. I'm actually going to give him the hand axe in the off chance that he does. Well, I say that. There's actually no way that he does. But if he did, if he lost his goddamn mind, this would be what we want to do. And Virion can head in as well. So uh, this went left very quickly. But they're going to attack Lan Ku. Krom! It's fine. Everybody's unpaired. We got this. Give up now. I was born a victor. And a victor... <laughs> really? <laughs> oh god, that's so bad I could have thought of it myself. I was born a victor. And victory will be mine. 11% of the time, in fact. Oh. It's sketchy, but man, I don't want to hear it. Lanku is the goat. Lanku is the goat. Here comes Anna to steal my kill. Anna. My girl. Why you gotta do me like that, Anna? <laughs> I mean, Sumia can double him, right? Oh, she can, and she doesn't have the killer lance right now. That's the only problem here. Alright, so my biggest fear right here is that if Heiyu goes at this guy, she has an 8% chance to die. But if she doesn't, we can win for sure, and even Sumia will get a kill. Ooh, let's do it. Oh man, this is so against my better judgment. This is so against my better judgment, but we're gonna do it. Oh, of course, with with being paired up like that, we actually reduce his critical chance. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. If anything, I might crit, which would be the worst scenario here. Nice, so we, we get our damage right there. So Mia comes through, does so goddamn much damage. Why? Why is Sumia this good? Somebody please send help. Alright, bronze is actually our best bet. So we're gonna go... Or not bronze, but you know what I mean. Iron Lance, our best bet here. And if this fails, Freddy has a good shot to come through. Oh! Here goes! Alright, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Nice crit. I see an open field. Vincent, oh, such beautiful flowers. Oh, you hate to see that happen. But I love to get free items. I'll take that goddess icon, thank you very much. Lon Ku continues to be a bad unit by killing this guy instantly. And now, we win, basically. Yeah. Prob probably. Actually, I've just realized that... Putting a lot of stock in Rick in here, actually. Am I not? Oh no, this is probably not how he wanted to do this, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's see what happens if it's breaking first and foremost. Okay, we, we hit, so all is well. I'll bet Donnie could kill him. I'll bet he could. If I took... Hey, you. Or if I took Soli, I mean. And in fact, I don't lose anything at all by trying for that. Well, I lose experience on Virion. But I'm also losing experience on Muriel. I don't know. I want to train them all. I want to train them all, guys. We'll go for the Virion kill. And I guess try to finagle this last guy for die somehow? I, I don't know how he's doing it, but... If he could, that'd be nice. The sooner he gets out of this villager class, that would... I mean, that would just be great. That would just be amazing. Anna, don't do it! Leave him alone! You know, I gotta say, I don't think that these maps are as bad as I remember. I'm not entirely sure why that is, though. I... I don't know. Maybe it's because I, honest to God, never used tonics or anything like that the first time I played. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out on the limb and say that that probably has a little bit of something to do with... Anna! That wasn't for you. 
Come on. Why is she just that good? She's just too good. It's got to be in the hips, man. I'm telling you. If only she joined you right here. Imagine how good Anna would be if she came right Thank now. You. She's already the greatest, so then, like, what does that leave, really? Okay, really, though, I don't think that last map is very bad. Not really a whole lot to it, honestly. Saving Anna is probably the biggest thing, I want to say, or at least it felt like that to me. She gets three a killed by those archers, so you have exactly three turns to kill the archer, as far as I'm concerned. I swear that, uh, Berserker, yeah, he's a promoted guy. I swear that Berserker didn't move, though, but I, I guess I was wrong. It must be a time limit or something, or maybe when you get a certain distance from him, or like, if you kill so many enemies or whatever, I'm not sure. Definitely caught me off guard, but we pulled through. A thousand thanks, good sir. I feared our goods would be spoiled before reaching market. I'm certain the townsfolk will be happier for the fresh food as well. Ooh. Oh, it seems you've done a kindness to my fellow merchants. The name's Anna. Some folks like to call me the secret seller. Next time we meet, I'll be sure to cut you an extra special deal. Uh, by cut do you mean- No, no, no. Not like what I did to those bandits. Okay. Secret seller. That sounds familiar. <laughs> I'd tell you more, but then it wouldn't be much of a secret now, wouldn't it? Until next time, happy shopkeeping, and may the gods of Open Road keep you. Huh? The gods of who? Oh, I get it. The gods of not getting a goddamn risen on my best shop. That must be what she's talking about. Obviously. Oh, they're gone. Anna, no, come back. Okay, she did. Cool. And she has the HP tonic. Ooh, I'm buying that. I'm buying that boy. I think these are the only ways you can get HP tonics, right? From Anna? Uh, I don't think there's any store in the entire game that sells these. And if not, they probably come very late. Which is a shame, because 5 HP for one battle is no joke. That's a huge difference. Hell yeah. Anna the goat. What did I say? And they said, oh, they sell javelins here. Oh, it's time. We need another javelin. Like, now. We need we needed a new javelin yesterday, man. Did we get more supports? Yeah, Freddy and Sumia, level B. Let's do it. I'll get the next one. I'm so sorry, Frederick. No. It's quite all right, milady. I suppose it is a bit complicated the first time. No, 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 Fred. That's not until the S support. Come on. But I can't believe I got lost patrolling this camp. So embarrassing. Yes, especially considering there's all of four tents to patrol. I know, I know. The worst part was when I tripped and fell in front of everybody for the third time today. Ah, And I don't know how I managed to drop that potion. That expensive potion. Although you did agree the broom was worn out before it broke, so that's probably... Oh gosh, in the fire. <laughs> oh god, what did you do, Sumia? How did you... When did... I'm pulling a Muriel here. Deltray.exe, it stopped functioning. I'm so sorry about the fire. You have a spare tent, right? Always yes, well, look on the bright side. You did a splendid job pulling weeds. I don't see a single straggler in this entire camp. Yes. Well, I always liked making little chains and bracelets out of flowers. Ah, <laughs> uh, you did just pluck weeds, yes. Not the flowers from the flower beds. <laughs> flower beds? Oh, horse plop. It's true. I'm all, all I'm good for is falling on my face. I'm going back to bed and pull the covers over my head. Also, this might be a bad time to tell you, but I'm pretty sure all the weeds in this camp are poison ivy. Of course they are! Please, milady. No, you mustn't give up. Huh? But... Never fear. The most important part of any battle is that you give your all. Everything you did today was out of consideration for your fellow shepherds. And if the results were less than optimal, well, it's not the worst thing in the world. So long as you strive to help people, success will eventually find its way to you. <sighs> oh, Frederick, if you really think so, then I promise not to give up. Perhaps I can make little flower necklaces for everyone. Okay, but don't use those weeds. <laughs> Please don't. I don't want poison ivy. Thank you. Frederick and Sumia obtain support level B. Oh, Sumia, when will you learn that you're actually broken? And honestly, she just made Frederick even more broken as well, so that's always good. Yeah, let's just jump into Chapter 6, man. I don't think this one is too bad either. I honestly think this is close to sort of a regular Fire Emblem map in a lot of ways. We'll see, though. I just kind of feel like this game went for a totally different style. I mean, I can't help but feel that way. I'm not sure if I want to say it's terrible. Like, I know a lot of people would just say that Awakening is bad, full stop, but I, I really don't feel like it is. I just... It's so weird, because it's so different than any other game, you know? 
At least that's how I feel about it right now. I don't know if I'll feel that way the next time enemy stats jump up by like 50 points, because that part is definitely true. Enemies get really crazy by the end of the game, but I just... I don't know, I'm kind of reevaluating my opinion, honestly. I don't know, does that ever happen to you guys? Do you feel really strongly about something and then on second look, maybe change your mind a little bit? Because I... I don't know, like, like with Chapter 5, for example, I remember that being just, oh my god, just so bad. So bad. One of the worst experiences of all time. And I think we beat it in, like, 2, right? So that wasn't really... It wasn't that bad. And I really can't help but feel like maybe there's a lot that I missed the first time I played this game, you know? Because it's been kind of a smooth ride so far, for the most part. At least past Chapter 2. Oh god, Chapter 2 is bad. Don't get me wrong on that, but... I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. Ugh. <sighs> I just can't decide if I like this game or not, hey you. Me neither. Crom, what are you doing out so late? Oh, hi, hey you. Just dueling with some unpleasant thoughts. And namely, how this entire conflict is Listen. my fault. Tomorrow we march to Regna Ferax to request additional soldiers. But there's something you should probably know first. Not everything Gangrel said was a lie. The last exult, my father, waged war on Plegia for many years. The violence. It was a brutal campaign, ending only with his death 15 years ago. Plegia rightfully remembers their suffering, but his war was no kinder to his own people. Interesting. So this was actually very recent. Wow. I, I was actually under the impression that this happened quite a while ago. Like 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 years ago. But no, 15 years. Yeah, of course tensions would be high. Wow. Goes to show how much we forget, I guess. Wow, yeah. That definitely makes this first part of the game a lot more compelling, I think. As the fighting dragged on, our army became more and more diminished. Farmers who could barely wield a pitchfork were conscripted and sent to their deaths. Soon there was no food at all, and the kingdom began to collapse. I was young, but I remember those dark times. I know how they must have affected Emerin. <coughs> Such an experience would change anyone. I'm so sorry, Krom. <sighs> Indeed, when our father died before her tenth year, he left her quite the legacy. Plegia's desire for vengeance, our own people's unbridled rage. My sister became a tangent. <laughs> My sister became a target for blame from all sides. Her own subjects began to hurl insults and stones, and even bigger stones. She still bears the scar from one, but she never let them see her pain. Only Lisa and I understood. It must have been so hard. I... I can't tell if you're being serious or not. No, no, I always sound like this. I see. I cannot claim to know how she does it, hey you. I can never greet such hostility with warmth and patience. While our people mocked and vilified her, she reached out and healed them. She brought soldiers home to their families. She ended the war. Now say, can Emran use staves? And when Elisa's spear was mended and the people forgave her, she never resented them for it. She represents the best of the Helidum. The part most worth protecting. She is peace. But some men would take advantage of that. Men like King Gangrel. King Gangrel! <laughs> I'm sorry. The day he understands peace will be the day that death gives it to him. So perhaps I must be death's agent. Emrin would never order him killed, nor would I wish her to. I don't know, Crown, with those stats. Right. Well spoken, sir. Marth, Marth, Marth. Good evening to you. Good evening to you. How did you get in here? Oh, the front door was unlocked. S seriously? Frederick! The one time he's not around. That cleft in the castle wall behind the Maple Grove. There. But how would you... Ugh. You know the place, Krom? Yes. Yes. I bashed in part of the wall while training with the shepherds. It's only a small hole, and I thought it well concealed, but... Right. Your secret is safe with me. I come here only to warn you. Hmm? Warn us. Right. The Exalt's life is in danger. No. What, Emrin? That's absurd. She's guarded at all hours. <sighs> what if... What if I had told you I have seen the future? Would you believe me? A future where Emrin is killed. Here. Tonight. Well, you did come out of that giant portal in the sky. Care to explain any of that? Not now. 
<laughs> Seen the future? Have you lost your wits? I don't know why that, of all oh things, apologies. would be the... Did anybody else see where she... Uh, where he... Did anybody else see where he came from? At all? Were we, like... What were we doing? I'm pretty sure we watched the Risen literally come out of the same portal, right? So why, of all things, is the fact that maybe she just has an inkling of knowledge that perhaps we do not. Maybe... Maybe just maybe she knows some stuff we don't. Why is that so strange? That's all I'm saying. Yes, but I expected you wouldn't believe me. Why he wouldn't know stuff that we don't know is what I said. For sure. So allow me to prove it. By kicking your ass on guard. I'm about to save your life from him. Wait, you're... you're a woman? And quite the actress, too. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't figure it out until just now. Yeah, I mean, come on, Marth? That dude's been dead for like, what, 3,000 years? What are you, stupid? Jesus Christ. So, uh, Marth, though, right? I definitely didn't spoil it. Marth is actually a girl. I think we all knew that, right? Did we see the new mystery playthrough? I mean, come on. Actually, just kidding. Marth is kind of jacked. If you've never seen him, at least the way the new mystery makes him out to be, he definitely has some muscle on the dude, not gonna lie, De definitely not gonna lie. Dude's been lifting in the gym. I mean, you, you gotta figure, you gotta be at least sorta strong if you're gonna kill a goddamn dragon, right? Although, in fairness, I, I don't think it was on the previous part, but I did see somebody post a comment and say, of course Marth isn't the first Exalt Deltray, come on. The first Exalt defeated an Earth Dragon. So, Est is the first Exalt. <laughs> Obviously, Est is the first Exalt then, right? Of course! <laughs> Naturally. Oh god, I had a good laugh about that for sure. Uh, Rickon, you can now get the hell out of my party, I want to say. Yeah, we can drop Rickon for Lissa at this point. And for once, we don't actually have to kill everything. Nope, we only have to defeat Validar. That's right, the guy from the intro, if you may recall. He's a level 1 sorcerer, so he's also promoted. He has Anathema, reduces the void slash dodge for all enemies within 3 spaces, so that's gonna give him a crit boost. And what's really nasty is this vengeance skill right here. Add half of accrued damage to attacks. Trigger skill times 2%. Which is just insane. Not on this guy particularly, but the skill itself is pretty crazy. Because you can easily get 30, 40, 50 skill in this game. Which means vengeance will almost always go off. And even this guy has a 1 in 4 shot of getting it, which is just crazy. So, if we do damage to him, he's gonna return that twofold. Or, or at least it's certainly going to feel like that with him having arc fire and 17 magic. 27 total attack. He's no joke. Now let's see here. Krom is actually fast as hell. So, theoretically, he plus Lan Ku. Where are they? There's cavies, right? Yeah. Of course, Cavalier Assassins. They would never hear it coming. Uh, they have 11 attack speed. And 7 defense. I want to say that Krom could just one round them. With the rapier, straight up. So that's how we deal with the cavies. Now we have Gaius over here. You know, he is recruitable. You need to do so with Krom. Not going to be a big issue, I feel. You know, I was thinking about giving this to Samia right now. Because she could just she could just go out there if I did. If I gave her the HP tonic and the defense tonic, she would be really good. She'd be like 4 hit KO'd, no lie. By the fighters, which is just insane. But I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm just going to give her the strength and the defense. For now, she's good enough. I think she'll be just fine. With the strength, though, she actually one-rounds Cavaliers. Straight up. With Frederick's help, of course, but... He doesn't even need to dual strike or anything. They just need to be paired up, basically. So I think that's pretty good. And we're gonna give the BE team lots of strength so that they can actually get kills, <laughs> basically. Who's got the good thunder? Rickon has the good thunder. All right. So we're gonna forge this one up by two points. Okay, let's give this a shot. I also bought an extra bouldery, and I gave it to Don and Boa. Remember, I want the emblem in my hand, and Emma dead on the floor. Let nothing distract you from either purpose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As you will, sir. Let's go, sir. Woo! Red team rules! Whoa, whoa. Did I just hear that right? We're to kill the Exalt? I'm just here for the plunder. You know, line my pockets with some royal goods. 
The Exile's such a sweet lady. Sure, I'll rob her blood, but I never harm her. Somebody said that I sound like Gaius. Is that true? I what, what is Gaius supposed to sound like? <laughs> I guess I'll just give him like sort of a normal-ish voice then, but... I don't know, I feel like he would be a lot more hyper than he actually is. With all that candy, man, dude's gotta have tooth decay like nothing else. Him. Karam, take Lissa and flee with you while you still have time. Think again. No, we're not leaving you. Just stay where it's safe. Ideally, right by Marth. In fact, the assassins should scatter if we can defeat their leader. All right, Fred, you know the drill. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm, two assassins and the little princeling was not even wounded. But wait, some of these actors do not belong on this stage. <laughs> oh, ho, can it be? After years of searching, yes, you, all the way over there through three walls on the opposite side of this castle. Of course! <laughs> Maybe he just has the same bullshit power that Heiyu does, where he can just see the battlefield, man. That must be it. Actually, <laughs> you know what? That would act that would make sense. Yeah. I mean, if Heiyu can do it as part of the story, sure, why not this guy? Tonight, fate truly piles the gifts at my feet. We'll see if you still feel that way in about, oh, four turns or so. <laughs> Zumiya's coming for that soul. Falchun is gleaming. I, I should give her a, a different voice now because she's she's no longer Marth, but somebody else. Uh, the Falchun is gleaming. What's wrong? No. It's not your concern. <sighs> Seems like nothing ever is with you. I'm so sorry. My apologies. No. Just stay by Emrin's door. We'll handle the killers. All right, Marth, I want you to stay right there and do all of the work for me. What? what? Okay, so what we want to do... Oh, God. Krom, please, flee while you still can. You each have but one life, and I do not wish it weighed against mine. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, we switched to casual mode a while ago. Oh, well, in that case, screw you guys. Throw your bodies at him for all I care. That was a joke. We're on classic. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> first things first, animations. Now, Langu. With his terrible, awful, plus five speed bonus. It's gonna pair up with Heyu, and we can obliterate this guy. Yeah, get out of here. Little bit too easy. But what's not easy, for this girl anyways, is getting a goddamn speed. Good. You know what? I don't care if she gets any other stats for the rest of the game. As long as she decides to level up speed. That's all I care about, man. Just just do it, man. Ten speed. Are you serious? Uh, we can drop up Lan Q, though. And I'm going to pair Muriel with Heyu because Muriel, like I said, she can actually double these guys. But since Heyu can't, I'll just take the damage. 25 minus 6. Yeah, that's 19 of your life right now. And honest to God, I want to say that Muriel can just finish off that sorcerer. Potentially. He does have no Sprato. I guess we'll have to see. Now with these two lovebirds, we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, that pairing's happening for sure. Uh, we're going to attack this guy with the Iron Sword, though, intentionally leaving him alive. And you know why. Because our boy, young villager extraordinaire, definitely needs a lot more experience. So we're going to let Donnie kill this guy instead. You know, I meant to give him a defense tonic. I think. I did give him vulneraries, though, so yeah, he'll be fine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Not really. I'm not sure. Is that an illegal statement? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a doctor, though. I do know that 74% of the time this should be a level up. Good, good, good. And if I use the vulnerary, we can do this again. Oh, not quite a level up. But if he just pokes anything at all, we'll be good. So I'll take this damage. I was kind of hoping for a double attack there, Muriel. Oh, well. Frederick doesn't need double attacks. He just does it by himself. Goodbye. Nice defense bonus from that terrain, bud. Now, these guys could have HP plus 5, but they actually don't. None of them do. Even if Fred had been hit by every single attack, though, he was fine. He is himself. Make no mistake, that didn't suddenly change now. Now, Lan Ku. It'd be nice if he killed this guy, but he doesn't have to, I suppose. Oh, but he does. Quick indeed. Goodbye. Another level up for your boy. Hell yeah. Hit points. Strength, skill, speed. Ooh, no, no, no speed. Come on, dude. You got everything else, though, so I guess. Ooh, Magic Swordsman Lan Ku coming in. Coming in hot. Yeah, Fred still has a million HP. He's in no danger. Now, what I would like to do here 
Man, I'd like to give that kill to Muriel. I, I think she's just shy, though, is the big <sighs> thing. Oh, yeah, and this one. I forgot about her. Oh, I knew there was wisdom in slipping in with those rogues. Look how these men spawn claw at each other like savages. I will repay my warren's debt, then wash my hands of their race. I don't know what that's all about. Come on, Ben, we're just people. Just like you. Except without the bunny ears. And whatever else it is you've got going on. She has a really veiny forehead. Like, she's just always super mad. I should make her sound really angry all the time. Ugh, these humans! Another assassin. No. Hold, Pan is not your enemy. What? You know her? Yes. I know of her. And I knew she would come here tonight. Really? Quite the prophet, aren't you? Right. As you say. And I swear to you, Pan is an ally. Good. Mm, good enough for me. All right, shepherds, for now, we leave this pawn character be. My lord. Is that wise, my lord? Yes. Not really. However, Martha's earned our trust. Did you see that backflip? I did indeed, sir. It was quite impressive, but no, 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 Frederick, that's fine. She enjoys her secrets, I know. Like her gender, for one. But she's also saved our lives, twice, and that's enough for me. You have my gratitude. Crom, thank you. Are you ready? Now, to the matter at hand, driving these scoundrels from our castle. I agree. No, Pond, start back to the left. That would have been so much better. Oh, this girl. So, Pond, right? She is not very good. However, at the same time, she manages to be good. It, it's weird. It's weird. Because I, I'm not talking about just her stats, right? I mean her para bonuses. Because her para bonuses are actually bonkers. Look at that. Three straight, four speed. And that's with no support level. No support level at all. And she's just that good. On the other hand, Tag Wall as a class is not very good, not particularly. Doesn't have amazing abilities or anything like that. It's just kind of a melee class. It does have six movements, so there's that, I guess. A little bit more than average. So you can take advantage of that sometimes. This B-Stone is what's giving her the majority of her boosts. But I generally think that as a Parrot Bot, that's where she's actually good. It's not like her growth rates are bad or anything, either. They're pretty solid. I, I, I feel like I'm saying that an awful lot. It's Awakening... Let's just assume that the para bonuses will be solid. I think that's a fair bet at this point. I've heard she's actually good if you reclass her into a, like a wyvern. And I I do remember doing that, but I wasn't very impressed, honestly. But I don't know. I feel like I've learned a lot about this game since then. So maybe it's, maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I haven't given it a truly good run to figure that out. I imagine the big beef with doing that would be the fact that she starts with like no weapon rank, though. And I will give her her lance back, because if she jumps in, she'll still get the level. Alright, Freddy boy. Let's get to it, bud. Luna. I think that means that we don't actually need Sumia to jump in. Oh, no, we do, but she did, so goodbye. Double Luna. Oh, man, who pissed off Fred today? He's just going in. Double level? No, but level for Sumia, and it's going to be good told you. More defense. Oh, she could have went in by herself. <sighs> Not getting a whole lot of strength now. What's going on? Well, like, that's a bad thing. When you get defense every other level up, I guess it, I guess I can let that slide to me a fine. Well, hold up. We gotta get we gotta get Lanku out of there. I'll tell you that for free. So we can do one of these moves. Lanku is now safe. And I wouldn't worry too much about old Marth here. She's, uh, she's basically fine for the most part. I guess if everything decides to get lucky and hit her, then it could be a problem, but it's not likely. If it were possible, I guess I could have pulled one thief away, but... Yeah, and I guess that probably would have been the time to do it. Anyways, you two, talk now. Drop your weapon or die where you stand. Hey. Hey, easy there, blue blood. I'm not here to hurt anyone. What? Yet you run with a band of assassins. Nope. Uh, believe it or not, I'm just trying to make a living. I'm a thief, you see. Bust open doors, crack into chests, that kind of thing. This lot said they wanted to break into some type of vault. Nobody said anything about murder. Good. I'd just as soon do something. I'd just as soon sit this one out. Hmm, then perhaps you'd be willing to prove your good intentions. Huh? Beg pardon. Listen to me. We need all the help we can get to save the Exalt's life. You appear capable, and we can use any information you have about our foes. Right. Oh, right. Those good intentions. Fine, then. I'll prove my sincerity, if you sweeten the deal. <sighs> Something tells me that this is a terrible pun. You would be correct. You want gold. Fine, you scoundrel. Let me just... Oops. 
Hello. Looks like you dropped something. What's in the satchel? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing. Candies for my little sister. I'm sure you. Sugar. Candies as in sugar. Oh my god. Yeah, sugar. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> candies as in sugar. Candies. Oh, you said the magic words, my blue-haired friend. Uh, this is getting weird. Uh, I assumed they'd be sweet, yes, but... Done. It's a deal. It's a deal. I'll take them all. Uh, you, you'll risk your life for us if I give you a, a bag of candy? Yep. I said sweeten the deal, didn't I? What did you think I meant? Don't get me wrong. I'll take the gold, too. Later. Unless you've got more of these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Ha have you got more of these? Um... I'll ask Lissa. And, uh, just like that... <laughs> we can't guys. Alright, man. So, as funny as this guy is, he's probably the worst unit in the game. Yeah, I, I genuinely believe that. There's a very, very long list of reasons as to why. Mostly due to the fact that he's very weak. His pair of bonuses actually suck. I mean, let, let's look at this real quick. Three skill, three speed. Keep in mind that one skill and one speed is coming from his raw stats. So his pair of bonuses are awful. He does give one point of movement, and that is really the only good thing about him. Yeah. And and, and you would think that being a... Like a thief, you'd think that would have a lot of utility, but really it doesn't. There's almost no situations where you need to open up treasure chests, and there's nothing that he can do that a chess key cannot. He's terrible at fighting, and this game is all about killing the enemy. There's so many route maps in this game. It's no exaggeration. No exaggeration when I say at least 80% of the maps in this game involve you killing every last enemy. This happens to not be one of them, which helps this case a little bit. But the maps that are not route maps are just defeat the boss. So, a different way of saying kill the enemy. Albeit you only have to kill one enemy in the case of a defeat the boss map. But that's, it's just not doing him any favors, sadly. He's just no good. He's just no good, man. I'm sure his growths are fine, but Assassin is also not even a good class, by the way. And that's his promotion, uh, as I do recall. I would have liked you to jump in there, hey you. Hey, we get the dodge, though. That's just as good. That's every bit as good. So now I don't actually have to do anything at all to Muriel. Cool. So she can just get this level up for herself. And with Lissa up. She's just going to stay out of harm's way, honestly. I don't see why I would do anything differently. Why did I move Long Q up here? I'm so bad. I should have moved into the pillar and then mended him. To get the attention of one thief. Yeah, I, I had it in my head that he didn't kill that first fighter, but he definitely did. Wow, I'm good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Almost as good as dang old what's-his-face. Gaius. Gaius sucks. <laughs> Goodbye. Very gracious of you. Please get good stats. Oh, magic, but no speed. Are all my mages going to be speed screwed? That's not really what I'm looking for. I would definitely prefer anything else. Anything else at all. Please, oh please, anything else at all. Getting hit here would suck. Lucy, uh, Marth, I mean, what did I say? Who? No, Marth. Marth is your name. Dying is your game, apparently. There, at least we got one dodge. I'd really prefer her heal rather than to waste my freaking time and kill my thief. The thief is my kill, damn it. Freddy is still fine. He can never die here. No way. Nor can he level speed. So Frederick is going to hit the bench eventually. I can guarantee you that. His growth rates have not played along. It's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Wow, no Sumia? Crazy. Some kind of glitch, perhaps. What I do know is that Virion's about to do a nice 15. Oh, he dodged. What a beast. God, look at this guy go. Look at him go. Luc uh, Marth, heal yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, the bright side, I can honestly pull that thief apart from the rest of my group. Or I can pull him away from Lucina, I should say. Why do I keep calling her that? He doesn't actually need Lon Koo for that. So if I made a mistake, I can just use... Yeah, we'll just use Bunny Girl. Like I said, her pair-ups are actually good. So, that's not really a concern with her. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I kind of screwed that up a little bit. But if Krom is right there with the rapier, Muriel can move back here. Give Hey you to Gaius. 
Oh, there's a concoction? No, I'm not wasting that. I don't need to. So we can do that. Heal you up. Heal up, Muriel. Honestly, though, we should heal up. We should heal up Lanku. So we will. We'll heal Lanku. Like so. Finally, experience for Lisa. Good thing men gives a million experience in this game. Huh. <laughs> Makes it not quite so bad to level up. No, we'll we'll just take our kill. I'm pretty sure even without magic pair up, we killed this guy, right? And if not, no, no, no. He's actually so low that anybody can do it, though. That's fine. Okay, well, this part is easy. We just use the killer lance right here. I don't really care if Sumia gets hit. I genuinely don't. She still has a vulnerary. So does Fred. And Fred can take a hit from Valadar if I need him to. So, yeah, we're fine. I'll take out the... The Cavalier with Sumia. And we want to do that with the killer lance so that she guaranteed takes out the fighter as well. I'm really feeling like we should, but oh, oh god, he has an 8% chance to do me in. I mean, I, I have to risk it though. We have to risk it. There's not really an alternative here, sadly. Oh, Donnie boy, you just robbed yourself. He just robbed himself. Oh, I say that. No, no, no. No robbery here. Never mind. Never mind. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> He will stand next to Virion, though, for the skill boost. Or for the... You know what I mean. For the for the accuracy boost. No, I was thinking if maybe I healed him, he would be able to just naturally survive, but not a chance. So we do that. And now we actually have roughly a... 80-something percent chance to hit that guy, which is way better, naturally. Sully, on the other hand, can pull this thief away. Oh, yeah, she has four more defense than Donnie Boy. Yeah, she lives. Guaranteed. So we pull this thief away. Which is going to allow us to kill him with the rest of our group. As opposed to letting Marth do it. Which is good for us in the long term, obviously. That a boy gets this guy. And I think that he's honestly going to have to kill the- Oh, no! No! Dude! Ah! Oh, you're joking! Ugh. And this is why you always start your day with a nice steaming bowl of glory. Had he done so... Oh, God damn it, don't him. Again, dude? Oh, my God. He missed again. Donald! So I've only just now... Oh, nice one, hey, you. Uh, so I've only just now processed that this is, in fact, not defeat the boss. So, uh, I guess it's good we figured that out now before I tried some kind of YOLO crap. Jesus, how is this not defeat the boss? Because seriously, if Valadar were dead, what does any of the rest of this matter? So why are we still fighting at that point? Stupid game. Meh. Where's your strength, man? You do need that. I don't know if anybody told you that or not. So I did actually give Sumia all the tonics and crap, like the HP tonic, just for this move right here, so she can get a lot of experience. There we go, Freddy. So she's actually going to kill two Cavaliers, one mage. And probably go deeper into godhood. I would assume. More defense wouldn't hurt. But she keeps getting strength, so yeah, what am I even complaining about? Oh, she only keeps getting the 45% strength every time. But she's only okay, I guess. Come on, Deltre. Yep, that's what I wanted to see. She keeps dodging. She keeps dodging. And so does Virion. Nice, nice. What's not so nice, though, is this situation with this thief. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. No issue, no issue. We do one of those, and Lissa still survives, actually. Yeah, so that's fine. Not the prettiest, but we'll take it. Easy, easy kill. There we go, Fred! And another one for Sumia, and one for Fred, too, cool. Nice, more res, more res. Relief. Uh, I believe that is, yeah, speed for Fred, too. I believe relief is plus 10%, no, 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 plus 20% HP if nobody's around. I wonder if that counts for pair-ups. I guess we're going to figure that out real quick. But not a bad skill, for sure. All right, so that's a lot of damage. That might actually be too much damage, actually. Hold up, I may have made a huge error. I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, left on one. Well, that's a kill for Muriel, in that case. 
Well, Samia can chill right there. A at any rate, she can sit right there. I'm actually going to unequip Fred. And in fact, I'm going to be smarter than that. And I'm going to move somewhere that he can't get some kind of terrain. So I'll move right here. Right here, in fact, with the javelin. No Frederick, so we're good. But I say that, but right here is a huge issue, no lie. I think I see the way. Okay, so we do that. If I take Mir Muriel... If I take Muriel with you, switch, attack. Lanku moves here. Takes Muriel, takes the Delta Thunder, finishes this guy. Hey, you moves here, takes the Delta Thunder, takes the Muriel, finishes you off. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here's how we do it. Exactly as I say. Take the Muriel. Switch to the Muriel. Take the Delta Thunder. And pop this guy with said Delta Thunder. I mean, if Gaius jumps in, or if we get this 24 percenter, I mean, that's that. Certainly a possibility. Let's watch. Let's watch the moment of truth. Muriel, yes! Goodbye, kid. And Caius even jumps in. Save me that HP. You're welcome. Took her a little bit longer to get the level up this time, sadly. But it was worth it for that juicy, juicy speed. Her magic's actually not that high. <laughs> well, what can I say? I will take now. I'll take Gaius. Yeah, we'll take him away. And... Uh, finish this guy off. I'm actually going to take just the regular old fire. That should be more than enough. No need to waste the... Uh, no need to waste the forge or the Elwin, really. Yes! Please! Just like six more of those. <laughs> yeah, what sucks here, though... Is we're gonna have to stall like the fighter or something because I I really want the treasure I definitely do I'm not sure that Marth actually dies to the combination of these two I also know that I need to run away because I will die to this Nosferatu guy however however if I if I use a vulnerary with Virion he actually lives so we can just pull him a second time. Instead of uh, pairing with Sully. Which would have been the alternative in that case, I suppose. Uh, speaking of Sully, I can just have her go for that shining spot, I suppose. Marth wouldn't die there, either way. Yeah, by one. And now we can kill him with either Virion or Donnie Boy. Either or. Emmerit was supposed to be an easy target. You will pay for interfering in my designs. Oh, I meant to hit. I meant to hit L for sure. Definitely meant to hit L. However, uh, that's a kill for Sumia. Without a doubt, if I've ever seen it. Yep. GG easy. Never challenge Sumia again. What kind of damage was that? He couldn't even land his attack. No, this is all wrong. How could you have known the plan? I don't know. I stabbed Marth chick. She seems pretty smart. Strength, speed, luck. Yes, I'm definitely giving her the next Drago shield, though, without a doubt. Because at that point, she's just she's just another Frederick, right? <laughs> so that's how we're doing this. I just really need to get Donnie out of Villager because it's such a bad class. It really is. Hold on, Polish. Twenty-seven on Sully. I should have gotten that with Virion actually, because I I'm gonna stall, like I said, just so that I can get the damn. Yeah, treasure. Definitely, definitely need that, for sure. So what we can do, I guess, is just hand these two away. Drop off Lanku. Whatever, it doesn't matter like that. Uh, he's just gonna get weapon proficiency. On oh, a thief, wow. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, they're gonna attack Pond, but she was more than healthy enough. So it's whatever. And we can easily kill the rest of these guys, I'm so sure. So we'll grab the chest, whip Gaius... Get the secret book. Oh, wow, Muriel actually... Ooh, it's time. Muriel is doubling with Krom. That's what I'm talking about. Speaking of doubling with Krom, though... And speaking of trying to get Laura Bailey onto my team... 
Let's go ahead and pair hey you with Krom now. <laughs> 5,000 chapters into the game. Yeah, let's try to do that, I suppose. It doesn't really matter like that. Krom will automatically get a support with whoever he has the highest support with. Uh, so in this case, we're going to try to make sure that that's hey you. At which point, he will automatically S support with Heyu. Assuming that she is the highest support after a certain point. Okay, yeah, so that's how we do this. I will bring back Pawn. Hey, level up for Lisa! At long last. They're all so good! <laughs> Her level ups are incredible! But what we can do is one of these moves. We attack with Pawn. Then Muriel can take Krom away. At which point, she can double and finish off the fighter. Like so. Very, very easily. We'll just use the wind spell. And then Lan Ku can finish off that sorcerer. At which point, the map will be complete. Uh, do I have a less valuable sword? No, I actually don't. No, <laughs> whoops. Maybe don't use the killing edge on the 4 HP Nosferatu guy. Pro tip. Goodbye. And with that, assassination thwarted. Frederick and Sumia are broken, and that is that. Kind of wish he'd get a little bit more defense. Far be it from me to complain about Sumia in, in any respect. What with her stats being out of this world bonkers, but... I don't know, girl. If you, there was one thing I was going to complain about for no reason, it would be her defense. It's only 10. Which is still, like, the highest out of my entire team. Yeah, I don't think that map is too bad either. Honestly. And uh, something I probably should have mentioned is that... For once, for once, finally in lunatic mode, the enemies don't have your stats times 20, so it almost kind of feels like a fair fight in a lot of ways. Sure, there's plenty of those guys, but I just, I think it's pretty easy to direct them around however you see fit. Because you can use things like the walls to attack them over that to sort of slow them down a little bit so they're not all charging you. Uh, you can do the same trick on Gaius as we did with Kellum way back when. Where you recruit him with Krom, and then you pair up Krom immediately, and then have Gaius ferry Krom to safety. So that's not very... Like, getting him isn't so bad, I think. As long as you can protect him from the first sorcerer, then you're good. And of course, if your Robin is actually decent, she can probably just go out there on the left-hand side by herself at this point, no lie. In fact, your bigger concern is probably killing Gaius if you go about it that way, but... Fortunately, I guess, question mark, ours wasn't able to, so I guess that was a little bit more interesting that way. I think it's a fun map, though, I honestly do. Pretty good, pretty good. I, I had a good time, <laughs> that's for sure. With those Sumia level ups, oh yeah, what a great time. One of the best maps of all time, in fact. Oh, thank the gods, you're safe. Thank you. It is you I have to thank, Krom. Well, actually, it's that Marth Forgive fellow. Me. I beg your forgiveness, my lord. I failed in my duty. They should have never made it into the castle in the first place. No. Peace, Phila. You couldn't have known what was coming. Only Marth could. What? Marth? Hmm? Yes, I would speak more with... Um... Hey, you. Where's Marth? Who, me, sir? No, hey, you. Oh, hey, what's up? Um... Hmm, an excellent question. She was here a moment ago. Oh, <sighs> not again. She's really good at that. God damn it! Or gods, damn it! <laughs> As they say in Awakening Land. Why is she being like this, though, anyways? I kind of forget the reasoning. I'm sure it is explained. If only just a brief explanation. Most stuff in this game does actually get explained. Maybe not always in depth. I'll say that, but... It does at least try to wrap up the loose ends where it can. Going somewhere. You have a bad habit of leaving without saying goodbye, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid I have a few bad habits. <laughs> Good ones as well. You saved my life as well as both of my sisters. Is there some way I can repay you? Some favor I can grant? <laughs> Hearing your offer is reward enough. Still... I don't know if I've started inserting Laura Bailey clips or not, but we know that that's gonna happen, right? <laughs> I feel like it's going to drastically change your opinion of this character. <laughs> but there must be something. Um. I already have... Oh, whoa, whoa! I already have what I came for. History has been rewritten. Listen. And, th and what future averted? But don't you see? After the Exalt's untimely assassination, the Fire Emblem would be stolen. 
This, in turn, would lead to a great war, and soon to the end of mankind itself. But I'm sure that sounds like madness to you. No. Strangely, no, it doesn't. Somehow I know that I can- Well, somehow I know that I can trust you. It's because they both have blue hair. Shut up! Let me- Let me do my thing! And I hope that someday I can repay your favors. Alright. Perhaps one day you shall. Until then. Hey you, is it just me or was that Marth fellow kind of cute? Uh, Krom? No. Hmm. I'm so glad that the game didn't go that route. I, I really am. <laughs> Brave Togwell, there are not words to express my gratitude. Hmm. Oh, you, well, you can start with thank you. Oh, one of those, I see. So you know our true name! <laughs> I don't know, this seems like a little bit too angry. So is she just like super stressed? Or are those like mar- No, those aren't veins, those are like tattoos or something, or- I hope those aren't ve- that, that, I'll say that, I really hope not, because otherwise she's freaking me out, man. <laughs> it definitely looks like that, though. Like, she's just really muscly. Like, she's been hitting the gym. Just got back from an intense workout, and her veins are just popping out. So, you know her true name. Yeah, we'll just roll with that. Um... Uh, sorry, what's a tag well? Well... I am a tag well. The... the last tag well. We are shapeshifters. Most of your kind called us Beast or Coney in the midst of their hunt. Coney? Why Coney? I only helped you because my war owes Elise a debt. Do not think us friends, you and I. Huh? I don't understand. Oh, pfft, yeah, <laughs> I'm out of it. I don't understand. Yes, it's precious little your kind seems to understand. It was a man spawn like you that invaded our war and slaughtered my people. <laughs> what? Is this true? Who would do such a thing? Good question. Ha! Huh, do not act so shocked. You're all the same. Right down to your base desire to ruin and destroy all you touch. Even each other. <sighs> there is truth to your words, perhaps. I'm told that, in Tugwell's society, everyone is treated as an equal. Mankind could have learned much from your war end. The words may come too late and mean too little, but I am deeply sorry. I am so sorry. We have stolen your friends and family and made the world a lesser place. Ugh. Your grace, you had no fault in this. Please. You claim to be blameless, and yet you would apologize. Pah, your words are but wind. <laughs> I know, but they are all I have. <sighs> you seem sincere, man spawn. There's another word that I need to start adding to my vocabulary. We have troglodyte and man spawn. You feel my pain as your own. I've never felt that before. Look at me. See what I am. I will never trust mankind. But you. Perhaps you truly are not like the others. Thank you. All I ask is a chance to earn your trust. I suppose. I'm really not sure what Pond's deal is, though. She says she owes a debt to Elise, but to whom? <sighs> to Emrin's father? That would have to be pra I mean, it, it practically would have to be, though, right? Because it doesn't seem like Emrin and Pon know each other at all. You can say that Emrin wouldn't know Pon, but if Emrin was the exalt when Elise did this favor for the Togwell, then Pon should, in theory, know Emrin. Right? Or does she know of Emrin? I, I assume... Hold on. Hold on, let's get to the bottom of this right here. We're going Sherlock on this shit. Oh, yeah. I only helped you because my warren owes Elise a debt. Do not think as friends, you and I. Well, it doesn't say specifically that she recognizes Emrin, although I guess it, it's it's assumed that she knows Emrin is the exalt. But never mind all that, there's a bigger issue here I've just realized. How does Pawn even know that this was going to go down? How did Pawn even know Sue show up here? Could she just sense it? Is that one of her rabbit powers? I just, I just do not know. I'm going to be honest, it feels like Pawn is a little bit shoehorned in. Gotta give it a bug with you guys. I'm not sure what she was doing here. She just kind of stumbled her way into an assassination attempt like, oh, well, I mean, while I'm here, <laughs> I do enjoy a good fight. She wouldn't be the first character in Fire Emblem who's just kind of there, let's be honest now. How? My purpose is too significant to be thwarted here. Ah. Blah. Well, you should have fought harder. Maybe proc that vengeance next time. 
Oh, who is this? Validar. <laughs> what? Who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> oh, right. It would be a girl, wouldn't it? I am the power that compels you. You will not perish here. It is not written. You must live on to author a destiny greater than you know. What? I impossible! It can't be you! It can't be... <laughs> I am the wings of despair. I am the breath of ruin. I am the fell dragon, Grima. And there it is. Oh boy! I don't think I'm ready for you, though. Give me another 20 maps or so. How about that? Forgive me. We'll take some time to investigate how the assassination plot got so far. We have no leads at present. <laughs> it was Plegia, I'm sure of it. They'd do anything for the emblem. Em, you can't stay here. Come to Ferox where it's safe. I forbid it. And leave the people undefended. War is at our borders, Krom. Do you expect Elise to stand against Plegia without a leader? They must know that their exalt stands with them. Still. But if something happens to you, what then? Your Grace. Your Grace, perhaps you might relocate to the Eastern Palace for the time being. The other kingdoms know nothing of it. You would be safer. <clears throat> yes, please. At least that. I can't leave for Ferox with you right in harm's way. <sighs> hmm, very well. Yes. Thanks, Em. I mean it. We'll escort you to the palace before we head north to the border. Good, good, good. Get her out of my hair. No more defense missions. Remember to take breaks. Get out of here, Rana. This is a longer part for the viewers. Damn it. Uh, more Annas? More Annas! Murder Ego Shields? Oh, second seal. Ooh, I really want to pick that up. I really, really do. But I really, really do not have the money. Ah, <laughs> Finally, hey, you and Krom. Good, they're gonna bang. Anyways, I feel like we accomplished a fair bit today. Got quite a few ones in there. Well, I say quite a few. We got two in there. Don't judge me, man. That's quite a few for me. Lots of interesting revelations, though. The story's finally picking up a little bit. Getting a little bit more interesting. Finally getting some answers to some long-awaited questions. And it's only gonna get crazier, I promise. But, all that said... Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like rating. Helps me out tremendously. Let me know your thoughts as well. And I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.